Are you tired of writing blog posts that just aren't that good? You know, the posts that no one really wants to read? Do you want to write content that's way better than your competition? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to break down how to write blog posts that are actually better than any other content piece on the web, and I'm gonna teach you how to crush your competitors. Now before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. I'm gonna show you how to write amazing content in three simple steps. Step one, do a competitive analysis on the top 10 results. So what I want you to do is get idea of the length of the content that are ranking on Google. So all you have to do is do a Google search for any keyword related to the article that you're writing and see who's ranking number one all the way down to number 10. Read the article, see their length. And this will give you a good idea if you need to write a long article or a short article. Some people say, if you wanna rank on page one of Google, you need 2,200 words. That's baloney. Some industries you'll need more words, some you'll need less. For example, if your article's on how to tie a tie, I don't think anyone wants to read 2,200 words on how to tie a tie. You can get that done in a video or just showing some animated GIFs teaching you how to tie a tie. And what I want you to do is pick the hottest topics from the headings the ones that appear the most often when you're looking at the top 10 results. Check the things that are being mentioned all the time on your competitor's content and all the things that they're not really covering. You also need to have a clear idea of what the value is for the top results that are offering to visitors. It's not just about Google, it's also about the visitors. Are they answering a specific question really quickly? Um, do they have a calculator that helps them cut through their math and just get what they're looking for really quickly? Is it a product page that just shows them amazing product? Is it a long form content piece that covers everything that they need from nuts to bolts, from beginner stuff like how to install a toilet to how to install a bidet? And if you create content just for the sake of it, you're going to fail. Another thing you need to look at is user intent. Do they solve user intent? Are they solving people's problems really quickly? Now, if you keep those factors in mind when you're analyzing the content, it'll help you understand the type of page you need to create and what you need to do to outrank your competition. Step two, do your own research. I want you to check out Ubersys. Take that same keyword, go to neilpatel.com slash Ubersys or just ubersys.com, type in that keyword. You'll be taken to this report that gives you an overview on the keyword. It shows you how popular it is, you know, uh, it, how popular it is on mobile versus desktop, over time, the popularity, and it even breaks down other content pieces that are related to it that have done really well in the social web. Now I want you to click on the keyword ideas report. This will show you all the other related keywords that you should include potentially in your article that are related. It'll also show you questions, propositions, comparisons. This is all the stuff that's uh, related that you may want to put within your article because a lot of times people are doing searches to see hey, what's the answer to this? Such as, how hard is it really to be an Olympic athlete? That's a great example of a question. And this will all give you ideas of what you should end up creating content around. I also want you to check out Quora and Reddit because those sites will give you good ideas of what's also popular around that topic. So now you'll know, hey, these are all the keywords to include and these are all the subjects that my competition isn't including, but Ubersearch is showing that they're getting high search volume, so that means it's popular and people are looking for this stuff as well, so I need to include it. Step three, raise your standards and create a page that's better than everyone else's. Add different types of media that no one else did, such as data and visualization. I'm not just talking about videos and audio files, I'm talking about, let's say, infographic or graphs or things that get the message across quicker, or maybe even image carousels on social media, or video-based content that are tutorial-based. And I want you to write a headline that's more appealing. Think of clickbait, but clickbait has a bad connotation because clickbait is, is you get someone to click and they're disappointed when they get to a page. I want you to have a headline so amazing people will click, and then when they get to the page, they're even more happy because your content just knocks their socks off. And check out the content ideas report on Ubersess for that keyword as well, because it'll show you who's promoted other competitor articles from a link perspective and a social perspective, and you can reach out to those people and get them to link to your article. Because if someone linked to a competitor article, they're much more likely to link to you as well. Now, if you just want my team to do all this for you, check out my ad agency, NP Digital. 
If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm here to help and answer them. If you like the video, share it, like the channel, tell the people about it. Thank you very much.